And your side's Kevin Bowden is live at Sabino High School, the staging area for this massive firefighting effort. Kevin. Guy and Stella, there are hundreds of firefighters working to control the borough fire tonight, and that requires a massive amount of coordination and communication, which takes place right here. There is constant activity at the Borough Fire Base Camp where more than 100 people work to provide firefighters with the information and supplies they need to attack the flames. Public Information Officer Sandra Lopez says right now, virtually any resource they ask for, they get. This fire is the number one priority here in the southwest area and what that means is because of the complexity of the fire, the temperatures that we're seeing, the fire behavior, that this is the number one incident priority for the southwest area. Most crews will sleep in tents on this baseball field, but some hotshot crews can stay on the fire lines for two weeks right, at a time. At this supply depot, they can load up on everything they'll need. With one exception, they have to buy their own shoes. Firefighters have to be ready for anything working in these canyons, even new fires. Firefighters are dealing with hot temperatures. They're dealing with rugged terrain. They're dealing with change in the afternoon with the thunderstorms coming in that do bring the erratic winds, not necessarily bringing us rain, but bringing us dry lightning storms, which means that it could potentially have a new start. And another thing weather wise firefighters have to deal with these hot nighttime temperatures. So they've brought in tents like these ones with air conditioning attached. So it's cool enough for these men and women to sleep comfortably and Guy and Stella. Everybody's got to eat right. A huge amount of calories needed to have the energy to fight these flames. The staff here cooks meals, breakfast and dinner for about 500 people every single day. And for the crews out in the field, they pack sack lunches. Back to you.